Now, we apologise if you're eating your tea. Uh, you might just want to put your knife and fork down for a little while because these little mites over there ooh, are responsible for allergies like asthma and eczema and could even be the cause of your snoring. Yes, the number of people suffering from allergies has trebled in the last 20 years. One of the most common sources is the house dust mite and we're partly to blame. We asked our correspondent Peter Wilson to investigate close to home. An Englishman's home is his castle, so why on earth am I allowing the cameras in to my bedroom? I must need my head examining, but it's not my head we're going to be looking at, but my bed. We spend more than a third of our lives in bed, but who or what are we sharing it with? Meet your bedmates, the microscopic dust mites. They eat our dead skin and thrive in moist, warm environments. Centrally heated homes are just perfect breeding grounds. More about them in a mo. First, there's a knock at my door. It's the mattress maids. Neil and Brian have set up a new business. Their Australian design machine is a Dalek. It exterminates dust mites. So what did they find in my bed? We've just done a small part of the bed, as you've seen, and what we're pulling out here is all the dead skin cells and everything out of your bodies. And remember, this is only part of one side of the bed. This isn't both sides at all. What do we know about the little critters? On average, every bed contains more than a million dust mites. The mites are arachnids from the same family as spiders. Up to five years, a third of a pillow's weight is made up of dust mites. It's their droppings which cause allergies. On average, each bed will contain two million faecal pellets. Excrement, their poo that uh, people who are allergic to that sets off like asthma attacks and other reactions. Pooey, as two-year-old Yasmin might say, she and her baby sister both suffer from multiple allergies. A simple birthday cake made from eggs and milk would kill her. The dust mites can trigger some of her attacks. At their home in Webheath in Redditch, Rachel is using special mattress and duvet bags. So you shed a lot of dust into the mattress and that gives the dust mite something to feed off so this just protects that so then it sort of hinders the dust mites development um, and sort of reproducing and giving them food to live off basically. Our beds are like fertile plains for the dust mite herds to graze. I'm tested to see if I'm allergic to them. I'm a mild case. Dr Jonathan North at City Hospital Birmingham treats many serious cases. If you have an allergy to pollen, that will cause hay fever just around the, the nose and the eyes. Whereas with house dust mite fomites, they, they breathe, they hit the nose, the eyes, and go right into the chest. So they can cause symptoms in all the places, uh, sometimes where pollen, for example, won't reach. Each death ray machine costs £10,000. To have one bed treated sets you back around £30. And the whole process, the whole idea, is to use the uh, WV uh, light in order to be able to kill it because that penetrates one and a half meters uh, down and then the vacuuming effect actually picks everything up. We use a triple filter on the bag and that takes everything out of the mattress. But the dust mite doesn't give up easily. After six months they'll be back in the same numbers. Our homes are just too inviting. Ooh. Yeah that's the evidence isn't and it? And this is what came out of Peter's mattress. Not a pleasant sight. No, not Pass the pepper, mother. <laughs> um, anyway, he's in the studio with some tips for us now. How do we get rid of these things then, Peter? Well, before you do anything, you want to make sure that you really need to. Are you or your children allergic to dust mites? You can get a test, talk to your doctor. Now, none of our tips will harm your health, but they could damage your wallet. First, fresh air. When I was a lad, there'd be ice on the inside of my bedroom window in winter. Now, that was not to kill me off, but it certainly got rid of dust mites. So the experts say, open your windows and keep rooms aired. Dust mites don't like the cold, but they don't like it too hot, which is why you don't get them in warm, arid areas. Forget global warming and wash your sheets and pillows at 60 degrees C. Then there are those covers we saw Rachel in Redditch using. Their microporous membrane keeps the blighters out, but they don't come cheap. Expect to pay over £100. Then, because the dust mites like humidity and moisture, don't dry your wet clothes indoors if you can. Finally, meet Martin. He's from Manchester. He's a Manchester United fan, but don't hold that against him. Now, children's cuddly toys will also be full 
of dust mites. It sounds crazy, but stick them in the deep freezer for 24 hours, that will kill the dust mites, and you can thaw Martin out and put him back in your children's bed. Poor <laughs> Martin. And um, apart from it being very clean now, what was the other effects of having this done on your bed, having it uh, cleaned this up? Machine. Well, it was strange because the bed actually felt firmer and it did feel uh, clean. And my wife did tell me that I've stopped snoring as well. And that is a major breakthrough, surely, I'm sure. Absolute winner. Thanks very much, Peter, indeed. Uh, there are more details and useful links on our BBC website for Hereford and Worcester if you can bear to take a look. Yes, log on to bbc.co.uk forward slash Hereford and Worcester.